I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com, here to preview FC Dallas as they travel to Quest Field to take on the Seattle Sounders on Wednesday night. Here's a look at the Subaru keys to the game. Well, the last time out for the Seattle Sounders, it was a 4-4-2 formation for Siggy Schmidt's team. And the man that provided the spark at the end of the match, it was a stoppage time winner from Jeff Park over Sporting Kansas City. The former U.S. international Casey Keller is in goal for the Sounders. And the always dangerous designated player Freddie Montero lines up top in that 4-4-2 formation. For FC Dallas, though, it was a 4-4-2 as well for Shellis Heinemann's men. The man at the moment has been Kevin Hartman. Four consecutive shutouts in goal for FC Dallas. George John will make a return to the Pacific Northwest, a place where he went to school at the University of Washington. He'll certainly look forward to that matchup when they return to the Pacific Northwest on Wednesday night. On Wednesday night, FC Dallas should look to be alert for the Sounders' movement. In their last outing against Sporting Kansas City it was the interchanging and the combination running of Freddie Montero and Alvaro Fernandez that combined to cause some issues for the Sporting Kansas City defense. In this clip here, in that last match, you'll see the run of Roger Levesque. It's movement off the ball from Freddie Montero and Fernandez showing well in support of Roger Levesque. It's a free service for Fernandez. The clever pull away run of Mauro Rosales, the central midfielder, creates an opportunity for the Argentine to have an effort on goal in front of Jimmy Nielsen. He wasn't able to do so in the end, but certainly a good attacking sequence by the Sounders. Well, we talked to defender Zach Lloyd about how they need to be aware of the Sounders' movement. I think the most important thing is the back line is communication. Uh, when a guy from the midfield is making that through run, it's uh, very important that uh, the midfielders communicate with the back line that there is a guy coming through so we don't uh, both go to the same man, leave an opening. So I think the main thing this weekend is just continue to communicate and uh, just, you know, rely on Kevin to keep us moving. I mean, he's done a great job over the last four games. So uh, just continue to do what we're doing and uh, hopefully get another shutout. Well, in addition, FC Dallas will need to look to counterattack quickly. We mentioned the Sounders' diamond midfield four, which sometimes can get unbalanced. In this clip here against Sporting Kansas City recently, you can see that that diamond midfield four are looking to win possession high up the field. However, they are out of balance as they look to build the attack and get Tyson Wall, the left back, included. But it's a loss of possession, which allows Sporting Kansas City to quickly break out. It's Kai Kamara and Davey Arno that are involved. You see the service of Arno that has ended up being cut out by right back James Riley in a covering position there for the Sounders. We talked to FC Dallas midfielder Andrew Jacobson about the importance of breaking out quickly. You know, we have a lot of speed going forward, so I think uh, right now we're defending really well. You know, if we can find those guys who are fast and attack really well as quick as we can and, you know, everyone fly forward for sure. In their last outing, that 0-0 home draw for FC Dallas saw them improve their record to 5-3-3 for 18 points and second in the Western Conference. And Seattle on the other side with that 1-0 home win over Sporting Kansas City improved their overall record to 4-3-5 for 17 points. Only one point separating the two for this marquee showdown on Wednesday night. Kickoff for that game is at 9 p.m. on Fox Sports Southwest, or you can turn your dial to 1270 a.m. La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. FC Dallas unbeaten in their last six matches. They've gone nearly 400 minutes without conceding a goal. That will be put to the test on Wednesday night. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.